but I just wanted to give people the opportunity who felt as though they might be affected by the benefits to come along with you and find out exactly how. And you know, it's a big complex area, so what I thought I'd do as well is invite the agencies along. So we've had the Citizens Advice Bureau, Job Centre Plus has been here, we've had the Welfare Rights Unit from Durham County Council who have been here. Uh, the National Housing Federation and also Olivia, which is the big social housing provider in the Sedgefield area. And they've all been able to get a, give advice. Some of the advice I don't think, you know, people want to hear, but it's just the way the government's drawn up the new legislation. And we're just going to make sure that we can help as many people as we possibly can. Well, obviously, CAP has been inundated with um, clients of late, and um, it's been increasingly difficult to meet that demand. And as a result of that, uh, we're to engage with our clients in our communities and a chance for our staff to try and see those clients and, and answer the questions and the queries that they have had. But what we're finding is that I've come across today the big issue was the bedroom tax, which is the under occupancy, occupancy rules, which says that if you're a couple and you live in a two bedroom bungalow, for example, for a provider by live in, um, and your housing benefit, your housing benefit is going to be cut by 14% because you're deemed to only use one bedroom. Or if you've a couple living in a three bedroom house, uh, you get your benefit cut by 25%. And it doesn't take into consideration things like that additional bedroom might be used for, for a carer. Or maybe because of disability, the, the couple have to, have to sleep in separate bedrooms. Or it doesn't take into consideration that you know the grandchildren might be coming around to stay because to allow their parents to go to work. Generally speaking, do you think this is a worrying time for people? I think it's a very worrying time for people. I think the work welfare reform in general is causing a lot of concern. I think uh, the increase of client numbers for us is steadily rising already. And I think we are due to see that rise increase all the more. Um, we've seen an increase in the number of clients trying to get through to us on the telephone. Um, 100% in the last two months alone, um, and I think that's just the start. We've also seen of late a number of clients who have sought help with just the basic um, in, in inability to, to even sort of pay for the, the basics of food and um, utilities, electricity supplies. We've um, had a number of clients who have come for help and needed food vouchers. Um, never had that in the 21 years that I've worked for the service. So we know that the public and the poverty levels are increasing. So this type of event is, is something that the CAB service in general really needs to engage with because we need to take every opportunity to get out into our communities and, uh, and try and see as many clients as we possibly can. What you've got to take into consideration, a lot of the people who are affected by this have lived in these houses for 20 or 30 years. It's not a house, it is also a home. And the answer to all of this is not to penalise people because they may have be deemed to have one too many bedrooms, it's to build more houses. And there is a shortage of one bedroom, one bedroom uh, properties in the area under living. For example, there's 1,600 people, 1,600 households affected by the bedroom tax, but there's only 204 one bedroom properties. So there's a massive mismatch in properties there, and I don't know how they're going to resolve the issue. And a lot of people are going to be affected by this, and I think it's a really spiteful bit of legislation, actually.